Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here uh, for a how to video today about getting the Tapo C210 IP cam working with your surveillance station on a Synology NAS. I have the Synology DS920 Plus NAS, so that's what we're going to be integrating with today. So the prerequisites to get to this point in time, I'm just gonna play around with my webcam a little bit. You can see it moving here in my familiar home office. Um, first, uh, the prerequisites are that you get your webcam to this point. So what I'm doing here, I'm um, emulating my uh, Synology um, NAS on my, uh, sorry, I'm emulating my Android device on my computer. So you're looking literally at my phone here. I have the Tapo app open and that is the back of my chair that's in frame in fact. Uh, so I'm gonna move the camera back this way a bit. All right, so that's step one. So get it working, do WPS, get the uh, IP cam authenticated with your router. Then you want to go into settings and you're gonna see, this is again, the Tapo app for Android. And if you scroll down a little bit on the settings page, you're gonna have a um, advanced settings option. And then you want to click into camera account. Now what you're doing here is you need to create a username and password and this is going to allow the TapoLink um, IP camera to authenticate with third party devices or applications such as uh, whatever surveillance software you're using. I'm going to be integrating it with surveillance station on the Synology uh, NAS. So I'm going to go ahead now and create a username and password and note those down somewhere safe like a password manager on your computer. And then let's go into the actual uh, Synology and take it from there. I wanna just emphasize how important it is to do that step because the uh, kind of supplementary account that we just created, we, we created a username and password, so a pair of credentials. That's not the same thing as the TP-Link account you set up uh, when you were getting this webcam to work with Tapo. It's a separate thing. It's buried under advanced settings. And if you don't do this, it's not gonna work. So um, now I'm in my uh, DSM, I'm in surveillance uh, station here and I'm in the IP camera area and uh, from this point from this point on it's really simple so it's going to search surveillance stations going to search through my local network for any ip cameras it can find and uh, there you go it's going to automatically pick up the tapo c210 now the difference between this and the previous step is that uh, we're going to be able to authenticate now so you're looking for the right uh, camera address and the right mac address now you're going to get an authenticate button under status and this is where we're going to supply the credentials that we just created. So you're gonna plug in here the username and password that you just created in the Tapo app. Uh, make sure the port is set to 2020, that's the correct port. And uh, you don't need to enable RTSP streaming or anything like that in the app, it's automatically set up. So just plug in your username and password and then you can authenticate with the IP camera. So after um, clicking on authentication, if it works, you're gonna get this uh, um, hopeful looking uh, green tick sign and I was super super excited when it came on because it took me a while uh, searching through the TP-Link forums and Synology's forums to actually figure out that all you needed to do is create that extra credential. Then you can click on, I'm just gonna go through quick setup options here. I'm gonna click on done. It's going to activate, it's going to authenticate. And then the camera's gonna come live. And now if I click into my camera, I'm getting audio pickup, which is gonna hit the reverb and you're getting the uh, camera on your surveillance station. I now have my TP-Link camera active in surveillance station, it's live. I can, I can also have a timeline because I've set up uh, internal memory and it's recording onto the NAS. I can take snapshots and uh, I can even undock the uh, PTZ panel here and make uh, movements on my uh, NAS. Hope that video is useful if you've been struggling to get your Tapo uh, by TP-Link webcam connected with your uh, surveillance station. This is my surveillance station in uh, Synology, the Synology DS920 Plus. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. More videos from me coming soon.